How's it going everybody? My name is AGBCW and welcome back to another video and today we are back with more Skyward Sword in the last episode. I didn't want to dive down. In the last episode we ended up getting to Lake Floria and in this episode we are going to be going into the temple of Lord Floria. Loke Floria. Lake Floria. Anyways, we have our water dungeon. The water dungeon isn't too bad in this game. I'll give you one thing, the place where the water tem the water dungeon should be, which is the third one, is annoying nonetheless, but I mean, hey, still not a water a uh, water dungeon. So, yeah. Let's get her started. I forgot the name of this one. Ancient St uh, Stannerin? I have no clue what, how to say that. S Kistern? I don't know. Anyways, let's just get started. We don't have a healing potion. If I need one, I'll just go out of the temple and grab one anyways. Um, Grab the... Ah! Giant freaking jelly lubricant thing. Hey, cool, I got a jelly thingy. Nice. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and pull this thing. Why is that even there? What's the point? <laughs> I don't see a point in it, so... Um, let's see what we have in this room. We have a bunch of lily pads. So what you want to do is you want to land on these lily pads. So let's see what's under here. Remember there at least being something up here. Is it right here? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Here we have spiders again. I was expecting to get stuck on the web. <laughs> okay, aim up, do that, get stuck. Okay, I think it's... Okay, it's... I didn't do it right. Up, down, left, right. And the camera fell. Amazing. I haven't had that happen in a couple episodes. Actually, a lot of episodes. There we go. Who knows the temple secret order? Alright. So that one was up, down, left, right. Go, that guy's dead. I think there's just rupees up here that you can get. I'll check, I mean. No, there isn't. Never mind. I don't know, but I'm gonna kill this guy because he's annoying and he's stupid and now he's dead. Let's hit this spider. I missed. Where did the spider even go? <laughs> Whoops. Alright, um, we need to land on that one that has the bajillion spikes on it. So let's go ahead and go up there. I don't care about you, stupid spider. I don't care about you. Alright, um, yeah, let's just jump. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm stuck! I'm stuck under it! No! Alright, perfect. Grab a red rupee. No oh god. Wasting a lot of air doing this. Go, Link! Go up, okay. Anyways, there we go. And we made it! Now give me a key. 
It's either going to be a map, a key. Yeah, either a map or a key. I think it's a key. Yep, it is a key. Awesome. Because if you gave me a map this, this early into the dungeon, it wouldn't make too much sense. Um, that's how it works, seriously. <laughs> Thought I had to wait for it to come down or something. Ow, that's probably the first time I've gotten hit by those guys. Anyways, we go down here. And there we go. Anyways, let's go up here with our new key. Here in a temple with my new key. No? Okay. I think we go into the middle. I think that's what we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> and we pretty much just jump down, I think. And as you can see, if we go, if we look up here, we can see that there is a little carving right here, and it looks like that is going to be the boss door. They lock unfamiliar, which is what the carving things are for. Anyways, we got another Stalfos here. Whoops. Alright. I am going to use my Guardian Potion now. Because I remember having a tough time on this guy. Ow! See what I mean? Anyways, now he's going to have four swords. Ow. Ow. It's pretty much just a matter of just hitting him. Alright, I need to go away for a second. I need to go and get some hearts. <laughs> I'd be dead right now if it wasn't for this guardian potion. Oh my god, he follows you fast. I recommend just stabbing a lot. Dude! Ow! There we go. Jesus. I would have died three times right there if it wasn't for this potion. Anyways, that's how that potion works. <laughs> Let's grab this heart really quick. And let's get our new weapon. Because that was a mini boss, and usually after a mini boss, you get a weapon. Except for that last one temple. Actually, the last two temples. We got the whip. The whip is pretty much what you would think. It is a magical whip, I think. <clears throat> Anyways. It does, it does depend on what, uh, on what you do afterward. You can flick it and then bring it back. It's mainly used for, you can just do that. Sometimes it does not work as you want it to, but that's just part of the whip. A whip isn't very easy to use in real life, so <laughs> I've learned that. <clears throat> Pull that. To go up more. And then this opens the topmost door. But I'm going to go through this door now. Find out that there is nothing here. Awesome. 
<laughs> Anyways, let's go up here then. Yes, this is the boss door right here. I'm going to... Oh my god! <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't use my silk cloth for a second. <laughs> Anyways, let's go through this door. And now that we have the whip, we can do more things. It is pretty much like the grappling hook from Wind Waker. If you guys played Wind Waker. I don't know how many of you actually played Wind Waker. Anyways, our potion is actually running out, as you can see by my flashing hearts. You know, so the potion is sort of flashing. You can kind of hear the noise, and as you can see, it is now gone. There we go. Open this, and I think this is going to be a map. And I was right. Awesome. As you can see, this looks like a pretty small temple. And we can actually see the actual flame on the map. Anyways, this guy is a little phoenix, I think. Phoenix. Spirit bird is survived by eating flames. Due to it, it's uh, causes maybe difficult to approach. A bird's attention. Curls up its tail. You have defeated zero of these enemies, and I am unable to do stuff. Okay. So what you want to do is when it brings its tail down, you want to just wail on it. Not like an actual wail. I mean, like, like hit it. Hit it till it dies, pretty much. Anyways, we want to go over here. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Anyways, now that we have this, we can grab this and pull it upside down. Very, very cool. Half the time, I'm not even listening to myself, so. <laughs> Anyways, now that is open. You're gonna need that for later. As well as right now, because you can go into this little area, into a fish's mouth. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Ow! Can you just go faster? Oh man, a room with just a spider. Boom! And he's dead! Wow! Is there anything to do in this room anyways? Yep, there's a chest behind here. Gimme. Red rupee. Amazing. I totally needed that. That's the best thing I earned all day. Anyways, if you can actually whip through things. So, we open that. Is there a chest either way? This way? No. This way. Oh. Well, that was like, whoops, <laughs> upward, go, what the hell did you just do, oh my god, there we go. Now what you want to do is you want to jump up onto here. You want to go along with the flow. You don't want to go along with the flow. Go, 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 go backward. Okay, let's just let go for a second. I think this is what we do. Whoa. Alright. <laughs> Whoa, that was fast. Alright. Oh, we go up from right there. Okay, got it. Mm. 
No, I cannot jump from there. Alright, let's go along with the flow of it. Can't move. Die! <laughs> I love that. Alright. You're going to go right there. Oh, you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to grab onto that right there. Okay. Stop swinging. Do go that way. There we go. Open that up. Run back through. Go up here. Miss. That works. Let me just shoot this bug, actually. It's not even a bug. Stop freaking moving! <laughs> oh my lord. Link, it is very simple. All you have to do is turn. You like lock lock on. Thank you. Well, right, let's just do that. <laughs> there we go. And that causes a whirlpool in the middle of the route. What happens if I use this on these guys? Die. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ouch! He mauled me. Holy. <laughs> we. Oh, not a good idea. Come on, like, didn't you learn from Twilight Princess that that wasn't going to be a good idea? Good, now we're in the sewers. Great. All right, let's get up right here. Get up. Okay. Grab our Amber Relic. We have seven of them now. Okay, maybe let's... Let's go ahead and try to kill all of them really quick. No, that's not how you can do it. You can do it like this. Do that. And that lets that thing fall. I want that heart. It is my heart. <laughs> Dude, what the hell did you do? Okay, there we go. <laughs> you see this? This right here is the part of the game. Alright, so this guy, he has a key. Do that, and you get the key. I wish it would just pop above your head like most items do, but sadly it doesn't. I don't know why they were locking up spiders. I don't, I'm not going to question it either. Anyways, if you look down there. You can actually see that there's the boss key. Important information. There is a 85% chance that that is the key that will open the thing at the top. That's like, ow, yes, he does have a bow. Stop! Why does that do a heart of damage? Holy! Alright, let's go. Wee! <laughs> and out we go. Is there a drop down point? Yes, there is. There's two of them. Alright, let's go this way then. Let's do that. And we have a full round checkpoint. Amazing.
Alright, you go up here, you can just do that. I'm gonna use this to get rid of this stupid spider. Die! Okay. What's over here? Anyways. Give me hearts or something. Not a rupee! I'm gonna end up using a fairy on, like, not even the boss fight of this temple. <laughs> Switch back to the whip, because... Put it away and start hitting the damn Deku Baba. It's a Quadro Baba, but still. Oh my god, just stab! Anyways, we do this, and... There we go. That is a really weird angle that I'm trying to... Dang! Ow! I don't know if fairies work underwater. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Link is flashing red now. Link is not enjoying this. Hmm, let's see what Fi has to say about this. Your hearts have de decreased quite dramatically. You're playing to some at, at the earliest opportunity. Wow, I never knew. Thank you. I knew I should have kept that heart medallion. See how hard the game is without it? But we would die instantly if it wasn't for this seed satchel, I swear. I would, I, it's like a lucky seed satchel, okay? Anyways, now that that is open, I might, ow, I might die. Um. Ow. You see, you have to get your concentration on unless you're going to die. In which you want to turn on your concentration even more. Go. Thank you. Oh my lord! Okay. Try that again. Why didn't you just grab- Oh my god! Oh my god, I made it! Amazing! Only took me 25 freaking ages. Ow, I just hit my finger. Okay. I'm going to use the whip on this because I don't know if I can get it normally. So there we go. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Alright, I can do this. Go grab. You leave me alone. You No! Get off me! No! Okay, drop that. <laughs> Give me a heart. <laughs> Ugh, that was frustrating, to say the least. And we have a checkpoint again. Grab this. Pull down. And it shrinks down that entire thing. And guess what that does? Opens up. It will actually crush the chest. But it will give you a place to go down. These are the blue choo-choos. But I failed to recognize that the other ones were actually green instead of blue. That's kind of weird. Normally the things that are green are are usually like gray to me. I don't know why those were those were blue. So You can act you can actually get a silver rupee from doing that. Sometimes it can be hard to do. 
Sometimes it can be really easy. I'm not going to test my luck with the other one, though. <laughs> That's something that I learned. Don't do something twice in a row if you're lucky the first time. That's why I need to learn not to go to gambling centers or whatever. Anyways, we go through this door. Everything turns purple just by touching the door. Anyways, right here we got cursed Boca Boblins. These are quite literally zombies. They will slowly creep toward you and try to rape you. Oh god. These guys dropped cursed, uh, cursed, I believe cursed crystals. Or cursed gems, whatever they're called. I don't know, but, um, these are the only enemies that actually drop them, so, yeah. They have a crap ton of health, too. No, they're called evil crystals, that's what they are. There we go. There we go. Anyways, over here, I believe is where we need to go. Anyways, we got fire keys over here. Now, I don't know why they're fire keys instead of like cursed keys. Those I think appear in the in two temples, pretty much. I thought those were keys. I'm sorry. <laughs> There it is, okay. Um, I need hearts. <laughs> okay. Be careful. Looks like a penis. Okay, it looked like a heart to the game, apparently. <laughs> I want to try that next time we find a goddess wall. <laughs> okay. Gemstone uh, shines deep uh, within the eye. Strike it to shut the flow and damn the flow. So we need to grab our beetle that we haven't used in like two minutes. And we go in here. There we go. That is very bla uh, bright blue. Anyways, there we go. Now, I want to know what this does over here. Okay. So what you do is you grab this. I think I remember what to do. Um, what you want to do is you want to bring the thing over here. And blow up that rock. <clears throat> it is very important that you do that. Also, you want to bring a stamina potion here if possible. It didn't seem very possible to me after that boss fight. Um, but if you have like four bottles right now, then maybe you might be able to work it out. But um, stamina potion is quite useful for this part. So what you want to do is get to the top of this until your stamina goes all the way back up and you want to travel to the side right here. Um, let me just check. Nope, there's no spiders. 
count. And I recommend upgrading the stamina potion if that's what you're gonna do. Anyways, you would get thrown into the spikes right there if you didn't switch that, so you definitely want to. Anyways, there you go. Another zombie bulk goblin. Get off the edge. Oh my god. <laughs> the giant cord that um connects the nunchuck in the Weaver remote is like stuck on my chair adjuster. Like you know that the thing that makes your chair go up and down? It got stuck on that thing for a second. Okay, um I'm just gonna wing this, I guess. Okay. I have to drop off right here. Which I'm forced to anyways. Anyways, now that you do that, pull that that way. The whip isn't as easy as it looks to use, by the way. Just, uh, like, it may be, it may look easy, but it kind of isn't. I can't move. I hope I don't have to. Okay, good. Anyways, more fire keys. Anyways, this ground is kind of weird. Um, what you can do is you can unlock a checkpoint for here. My god, I have 10 minutes left in this video. I'm sorry if you can't watch the whole video. I, I mean, mostly it's kids who watch YouTube anyways, so, and they have a lot of time. Anyways, what you just want to do is you just want to keep going up. You want to, if they get on you, you just want to shake them off and keep climbing. Shake it off, shake it off, go! Okay. Can you go? We're in the white now. You got my foot! Get off me! My god, that was like the thinnest strand that I was just holding on to. Turn the stone giant and then return to the earth below. Anyways, do that. Pull it. And that gives us an even better checkpoint. You now return to the underworld pretty much anytime we want now. Sorry, my neck hurts. Alright, um... Let's go! <laughs> Just let go. Doesn't matter. Um... Which way do we go? This way. Anyways. Now, we are right here. Go on right here and get your key. We get the blessed idol. And oh god. I hit the button. Let's see all of them get crushed. They're all freeze framed too. <laughs> we have two empty bottles right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to not end the video, but I'm going to go back to Skyloft and grab two red potions maybe even a guardian potion if I can um yeah I think I might actually do that wow that was a lucky guess um yeah I'm gonna head back up to Skyloft really quick I think yeah I'll head back up to Skyloft. I will see you guys back in the dungeon. Okay, I was running past him. And I just randomly talked to him. And I got star beds. <clears throat> and we are back. 
Yep, so I got two of these. I dropped like 80 rupees doing that, by the way. Um, so let's get going. The boss is kind of hard in this area. So I will warn you that you might want to be careful fighting this boss. Alright, um, I think I'm pretty much all ready. Um, wrong way. The perfect. There we go. Good enough. Look at how cool that looks. <laughs> it moves the lily pad. Awesome, and it fits right in. That looks so cool. And it just opens the top. Now, what I'd expect this this um, temple's boss to be is like a giant phoenix, but it isn't actually. Um, what you want to do is you just want to let up all of these things. And it pushes you upward. Anyways, you got a couple hearts around here that you can grab if you are low. I'm going to save really quick. Um, it's 4 o'clock right now. Um, let me just check if we have enough time to do this. Be right back. Should I speedrun it for 3 minutes? I've done it before. Let's do it. <laughs> We have roughly three minutes. I usually keep these videos at like 40 minutes. I might go over a little bit, so maybe 45. I don't know. Depends how long it takes me. Anyways, we see Grimman. Grimafin. I don't know. <sighs> I'm extremely tired today. And guess what? This thing. How cool does this thing look? It is not really a boss that you would think. Ancient Automation. Clotimos. So, what you want to do is, when he does that, you want to take your whip and do that. Anyways, there you go. Pretty much, you just want to wait until he does whatever he does. Easy way to make him do it is just go right up to him and just, you know. Hello. How are you doing this fine day? Oh, God! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Come on. Do your slam. So, once his two arms that are covering it are gone, you want to wail on his heart thing. And pretty much the exact same gimmick, just for a second time. I think he will react faster to it this time. Anyways, once he does that, you just go up to him, just start nailing his heart. He's just like, I surrender. Surrender with all of my hands. Now I'm a spider. Now I'm a human. Now I have a crown. Oh wait, I did have a crown. Now I have swords. 
Come at me, bro. <laughs> this is a cool boss. I I've got to admit. He does that. Take out whatever hands you can. You can take out all of them. Go right ahead. Once you do that, pick up one of his swords. Ow. You want to do a horizontal strike to take out his feet. Then do that. Do that again. And just shake your Wii remote as fast as you can, pretty much. Anyways, now that you do that, he's going to start doing this little attack. Pretty much, you just want to get away from him as fast as you can. Come on, attack me. Do your attack. I don't want these guys. Whoa! Pretty much, you just need to grab one sword. That's all you really need to do. Oh, no! <laughs> Run with the sword. <laughs> Oh god, he's getting close. Alright, I think he's done attacking. Horizontal. There we go. I think one more phase of doing this. There we go. Now you want to run! <laughs> Z, yep, he's doing his sword attack. Come on, attack me. Attack me. I don't care about your stupid little... You know what? Attack him. I don't care about them. Once they get on the ground, they're pretty much dead. Whoa! Okay. Hey. So, I know that you like candy. I love candy! <laughs> <laughs> Give me <her> some. <laughs> Alright. Once he does that, you just want to pull off as many arms as you can. In which case, I pulled off quite a few. <laughs> Alright, fine. Do that then. See ya! Come on. Hit it. Thank you. We did it. That was a creepy sound effect. But hey, guess what? He still loves me. Look, he's going to give me a heart. Yay! <laughs> and we have started our second row of hearts in that case. Grab it before it touches the ground. Yeah! Alright, let's get going. Nah, I'm just kidding, I have to. Alright, now let's go! Aw, oh, you can't bring it with you. Alright, whatever. That's always what I want to do with the Dark Knight swords in Wind Waker. <laughs>
The flames of Ferrar have improved your sword, making it longer and sharp enough to do twice as much damage. <clears throat> Anyways guys, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And I will talk to y'all later. Have such a great day. See ya.